So if I was to give one tip for, for marketers, it is to stay creative. Really get to know your customer. Spend time working out what the end result of your marketing needs to be. Marketing to me is thinking outside of the box, doing things differently. And to know what experiences they want to get out of your products and services. By way of background, Rosita Wolf is Head of Marketing at the National Concert Hall and her address tonight is entitled Results by Customer Engagement Excellence. Rosita twice led the National Concert Hall to the All-Ireland Marketing Awards and will demonstrate how she has succeeded in getting results for her organisation through excellence in customer engagement. So some of the most wonderful things in life cannot be touched, sometimes can't even be seen. They have to be felt in the heart. And you know, that's what CX is about. It's getting beyond products, services, prices, etc. And to get inside the heart of your customers. There is nobody better in Ireland to talk to that theme than Rosita Wolf. I feel right at home here actually on the stage because there's a sheep and there's pallets and there's grass. So I, I grew up on a farm, so it's like great classical music in this. I'm going to talk now a little bit about actually that whole area of experience and, and, and engagement through experiences. Um, you know, this evening I spoke at the Marketing Institute in, in Cork and uh, we talked about the importance of customer experiences. So when someone does come to your venue, when someone does engage with your brand and interact with you, that experience has to be 100%. It has to really, I suppose, meet and exceed expectations. But actually when they come, that experience just has to it has to be 100%. They won't come back and they'll badmouth you. Um, customers are the media. When, when I started out after college, you know, the media was the media, actually. And I think what we see there is that it's the age of the empowered customer. Um, you know, the customers are now the media and often when we're releasing details of an artist that's going to go on sale, um, many people know already because that artist has jumped the gun and, and released it on their Twitter or, or, or social media uh, feed. Suddenly, I'm actually taking some of that uh, communications and, um, and owning it. And I think that for many organisations, we need to recognise that and re recognise the power of customer communications and how much they control. The new buzzword, journey mapping, mapping your customer journey is the latest thing. And, you know, it's an important exercise for anyone in here to do. In the context of, of tonight's presentation, I talked about journey mapping, and uh, it's something that we do in the National Concert Hall. It's a relatively new phenomenon, and it's actually mapping the journey that your customer goes on from the point of, let's say, where you announce a concert, the booking process for tickets, the planning around that event. Make sure it's effortless. If it's effortless, you'll engage them and it'll be a great experience. We would see straight away when we have a problem with a show uh, by a comments on Twitter, literally within one or two comments, you suddenly know you have a problem and you can react early and you can be ready and be proactive. Don't forget about the customer and, and above all, don't forget that they know what they want. They know what they want to hear. They know what they want to come and see and talking from an events point of view. So research, 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 and then when they do come, make sure the experience is super special. Thank you, thank you very much.